In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up direct deposit on Chime without a job. So if you don't have a traditional job, that is perfectly okay. You still are able to go ahead and use Chime and get all the benefits. So if you receive regular electronic payments such as government benefits, freelance income, or any other ASCH transfers, here is exactly how you would do it. So what you would need to do is you need to open up the Chime application, then go to the bottom menu and select over here where it does say move. Then you're going to see this option that does say set up direct deposit. So please go ahead and select on that. Then over here, it is going to provide you with both your routing number and your account number. And these are the numbers that we actually need to go ahead and copy and then give to our employer. So these here are the most important numbers over here. So please go ahead and make sure you double check that you do see routing number and account number. So option number one is you could share your Chime routing and account number with the payer. For example, the benefits agency or the freelance client or a payment platform. So please go ahead and provide these numbers to you know whoever is actually giving you those payments and for government benefits it's a little bit different you need to log into the relevant portal so for example you could be using my edd for california unemployment and then from there you guys actually are able to go ahead and update your payment method with chimes details so it all really depends on who's actually paying you if you're getting government benefits then you need to go to that relevant portal however if you're like a freelancer then you will need to give this information to your client the person who's actually hiring you and giving you money or what you guys could do is use a direct deposit form right over here so there's going to be an option that says get completed form so all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on that and then it is going to go ahead and now email you a form right over here so yeah this form makes it incredibly easy you could just give this to your employer and it would just make the process significantly easier and even chime themselves recommend that you actually do this option instead so this is definitely something that you guys could do so make sure to go ahead and send this form to your employer uh the government portal you're using but but what you guys could also do is you guys can go ahead and just directly find your employer on the app so there's going to be a button that says find employer and then over here it is going to give you a list of all of the different employers over here so we even do have things like social security so we do have things like social security so guys please go ahead and look it up in the actual search bar right over here and see if whoever's actually paying you is actually available and all you want to do is you want to go ahead and select on it and then it is going to log you into the relevant actual portal then it is going to go ahead and roll you to the relevant portal and then from there you guys should be good to go but if you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next tutorial.